Let me tell you about this son called Adam. It was his 18th birthday and he could not wait to get this new car from his dad. He waited two years for the car of his dreams. He thought he was about to receive it. When his father finally gave him his birthday present, he opened up the bag with excitement only to find a book. And instead of being grateful, he lashed out. This moment was defining for Adam and his dad's relationship. As the years went by, Adam began to ignore his father more and more. He was holding on to this grudge. He started to choose work over any quality time with his father or his family. Even when he would talk to his dad, it was always cut short. He was always trying to avoid it. Until he got a call from his mother that his father was ill. He drove home that time thinking about all the ways he could have been there for his dad in the past when he wasn't. All of those regrets were flashing through his mind. When he got back, he was able to be there for his father's final moments. When he started to help his mom clean out the house, he stumbled upon the book he received so many years ago from his dad. He realized he had never even opened the book. When he did, he found a key with a note inside from his father. The note read, Son, you may be finding these keys weeks after your birthday or maybe even years, but I know this will find you at the perfect time in your life. There is an important lesson here. We all want material things. We all wish and hope for a new car, new clothes, a new home but those things can't come to you so easily. You have to learn to work for them. You have to learn to take the wisdom of our elders, whether those are our parents or our peers, along with the gifts they give us. All I wanted to do was give you a new car, but it's important to learn the lesson of earning the things you want. Right here are the keys to my garage. In here, you will find all the cars I've been working on since I married your mother. I hope that you can continue my work with them and hopefully take them out one day. I always want the best for you, son. I love you. So many of us have expected so many things from our parents. The truth is love is shown through time. Love is shown through energy. Love is shown through attention. Love is shown through presence not presents, not gifts, not things, not material things. Love can be shown in so many ways. It's so important that we're aware as to how we're receiving it. They say that the day you realize your parents are right, your kids are telling you that you're wrong. And I'm sure we'd hope that our kids would give us a second chance. And if that's the case, then maybe we should do the same with our parents.